Hey guys, Popular Boat here, and today we are continuing our Check Yourself Before You Rock Yourself campaign. We're doing okay. Doing okay. I need to stop these lines again. Oh, uh, no, we're doing we're doing all right. It's just supply is getting pretty shitty. Mainly because this stuff's just being fought over until the point that it's all ruined. And we don't have supply to keep pushing, and then Russia gets a couple advantageous positions. Canada's cancelled a lend lease. Didn't even know they were lend leasing us. Looks like we're winning fights, but we're mostly the one being attacked, which is annoying. Canada wants to send us another lend lease, sure. Alright, we really need oil. Let's get some from Romania. We need some rubber, we can get a bit off Belgium. Tungsten, we can get some off Portugal. No, that needs boats. One from France, one from Greece. Just wanting to not have to use convoys because we have fuck all of them. Right, mountain infantry has a bit more organisation, that'll help our divisions out a fair bit. Maybe we'll get the purple line starting to help out. Red group is having trouble holding that bulge. I reckon I'll tell them to stop. Let them build up their planning bonus. Might be better off sending our sending that red group north. Russians are fighting pretty hard to get Kiev back. Really getting hindered by this goddamn supply. And just so few factories. Might actually be a good idea for us to fill in our stuff. Finish getting excavation, so we know we're getting all the resources we possibly can out of what we've got. Yeah, Russia's just a constant wave of people. Okay, let's let's stop everyone. Let them get some entrenchment, let them get some equipment back. We're out of motorized, we're out of support equipment. That's a big problem. Let's put fighters after both of those. Starting to need guns again too. Hello. <laughs> 
Okay. Find our way forward in a couple key positions that consolidate the areas that we're trying to defend. Looking for planes. Oh, those planes are overpopulating that airbase. There we go. Green is good. Can we just dump that? We're not going to get any more of those tactical bombers, and it's a waste of manpower having two planes ready to go of them. Oh, excavation four. Um, Engineer far, uh, 4 will help us with cities. Venezia, we need your supply fixed, Zarmia, and that one. Cool, more air doctrine is done, let's keep it going. We need that superiority in the air. And it's time for us to upgrade our tanks. Medium TDs. More reliability. Probably more engine, to be honest. Ah, uh, no. More armaments. Better soft attack, more hard attack, more piercing. Crank some of them out. Um, push that forward. Push that forward. Move blues off that border so we can just push that out. Crush those guys back. If we can encircle like 50 infantry divisions down here, we'll be in a really good position. Help fight that. That is some really high forts. Um, can we see... no. No wonder we're having issues here.
Level 7 forts in Kiev. The guys got down here. Resources are good again. Well, not resources, supply is good again. Push him back. Try and get across this river. We're doing a lot more fighting here, so let's move these planes up, I reckon. Circle 22 divisions, please. Oh, they already bailed out. That was fast. Alright, infantry anti-tank is done. We're pretty much done on our basic junk. Let's get next to all field hospitals. They're starting to lose a fair bit of men. Soviets are up to 7 million in losses now. They have gone up to service by requirement. <laughs> that is a stupid amount of manpower available for them. Excellent. We have just trapped another 200,000 manpower. We got free military factories again? I do not believe this. Let's get next level recon. I'm going to ignore free factories because it's kind of a lie. We've got a lot that need repairing. Uh, we should actually manage Occupied territory to demand all of it, and that might give us a couple more factories. I really need blue to get its tanks down here. Oh, they're all in combat. Okay. Alright. It's winter again, though. Russia's favourite time to not lose. I think we'll get red focus there and we'll just try and cut all this off. Burn through a lot more of their manpower again.
We've got a fort we need to encircle, but it's going to be a bit painful. Let's get them in a bubble. Who in Romania? You want, mate? Okay. I need to start producing guns again. Keep that push going. Uh, let's see if we can get that. You should only really be in that bulge. Ooh, these guys have... Oh, they've got a port still. I was going to say, we've got another encirclement, but not quite. Yes, retreat out of the port. Come on, get out of there. Excellent. Almost 8 million. Excellent. Making some very good progress in this war. UK is influencing Turkey, good for them. Romania, will you give us Odessa? Yes, excellent. Fight for us. No? You're just going to stand in your area then? Okay, if you insist. Let's have a look at our fights. They're still losing, what, four times the equipment we are? How many factories do they have, though? 233 versus our 107 military factories. But so many of them are broken. Cool, excavation five. Engineering, we can get better encryption. I don't know if... We do have a decryption advantage. I don't know if... Well, we don't have an encryption advantage, so... The troops are spread thin in the north. Okay, 
just want to try and get that fort so we don't have troops spread out as much. Whoa. <laughs> they have a fuck ton of bombers. Makes our fighter production a lot more important. Let's give them slightly better guns, slightly more reliability. Make them the new standard. Ooh, that's not so nice. I think our hard part is just, we can't compete with this much combat. There is just constantly fucking tons of it. Like here, we're losing provinces just because fighting never stops. some troops. Okay, let's grab some more for green. Like that. Ah, <sighs> okay. Time to call it an episode. We're not. We struggle through winter, but we have a lot of success through the summer. Challenge at the moment is we need a lot more guns and things out. We still have plenty of spare infantry equipment. It's just everything else is starting to slow down. We could start using more light tanks again. Isn't that far behind on medium tanks. Might be a good time to redirect all of our planes to cover this area that we're having trouble with. And yeah, time for me to call it an episode. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the campaign so far. We're slowly pushing the Soviets back, like they're gonna run out of, they have to run out of manpower eventually. 8.6 million losses is just insane. Iraq's actually holding on okay. We'll get there. We'll burn through them. Anyway, thanks guys, and I will see you in the next episode.